As artists, we put our heads down and we create art from our souls, but our art can only become a gift once it's shared. And in today's world, the number one way for people to discover that gift is through content. You found me in my platform through content. The best content is videos or pictures or even quotes that stop you in your tracks and make you engage or comment. It gives you the urge to share it with your friends and just like that, I've gained a new follower, all through content. However, content being one of the best forms of discovery is no secret, which is why millions of videos get uploaded daily. So the question is, how do I make content that stands out from the crowd? That's what we'll be answering in this course. What is content? Content is a way of packaging your thoughts, your ideas, your expressions into a work that's available for your audience. I want us to rethink content. Content is another way of getting your gift out. Content can come in several forms. It could be audio, it could be visual, it could be written. Content is just a way of embodying your expressions into a work that you make available for people. The truth is a lot of artists run scared from content because they don't know how to do it or they don't want to put it in the work. But content is actually a great way of expressing yourself. You're an artist because you're a creative and creating content is just another way to express that creative energy, that creative know-how that you have. So I don't want you to be scared of content. I want you to just think of it as creating. When you go in and create a song, that's a passion, that's a gift, and you go in there happy and passionate about it. I want you to start thinking about content the exact same way. When it comes time to create this piece of content that you're gonna share with the world, how can you be creative? How can your light shine? How can your gift shine? That's how we need to be thinking about content because that's what content is. It's not a chore, it's a way to express yourself. We are living in the content era. IG came along and it allowed us to post pictures and give a day-to-day -day of our life and share it with the world. But content really changed when Snapchat came along. Snapchat was the first platform that allowed you to share, that allowed you to share in the moment videos of whatever you had going on. So as a celebrity, as a fan of a celebrity, I could go to Snapchat and watch this person and see exactly how their day is going. So actually, if we take it back, we started with written content where we can see what the celebrity had going on on Twitter. Then we went to visual content where we could see photos of what the celebrity had going on. And then we went to in the moment, right then and there, what is this celebrity doing? What is this influencer doing? What is this person that I admire doing? That's what Snapchat created and it opened the world to a whole new personal content revolution. Then of course, Instagram came and added the stories and the rest was history. Now we're at Reels, TikTok, Facebook Reels, YouTube Shorts. Now we have so many forms of video content, video personal content. That is why we have entered the content era. But of course, here we are in 2023. Everybody's creating content because it's the only way to be discovered, not just for artists. This goes for people building brands. This goes for people trying to sell a product. This goes for even any sort of business that wants to be in business, that wants to be discovered as a business. It could be an insurance company. They need to make content in order for us to discover them. So everybody is creating content. But as artists and as influencers and as content creators, that personal form of content that Snapchat created, Oh, let me remind you, let me go back. I wanna remind you where we were before Snapchat came along with visual content. Before Snapchat came along, we were making very produced music videos, very produced vlogs, very produced, they weren't even vlogs, they were documentaries pretty much. Very pro produced visual content. Snapchat introduced personal content. Once they introduced personal content, the world has not looked back. The only way in 2019 and 2020 and 2021 and 2022, the best way to break through as an influencer, content creator, as an artist was to show your personal content. If it wasn't filmed on an iPhone, the consumer did not want to see it. That is what changed and that's what Snapchat did. It had to be iPhone personal footage. Every viral video you see is nine times out of 10. Matter of fact, 99.9% chance that that video was shot on a phone and not overly produced. But here we are in 2023 and we're already, we already have went through a cycle, our first cycle of content. Now, because everybody's making their content on iPhones, guess what happened? The way to cut through now is produce videos. 
carefully crafted videos, videos with thought into them, videos with thought and creativity put into them. That's how you stand out now. Higher quality, great lighting, 4K. Now the iPhone is still perfect because you can shoot high quality videos on an iPhone as long as you have good lighting. But it's that thought process, that substance that goes into these videos that make you stand out. And so that's where we are. We've already went through a cycle. We started with very produced content and went to personal iPhone content. Now we're in that cycle. We've come back to produce content. So the way to stand out right now, produce content, but we'll get further into that as we get into the course. Now, what did all this change create? What did all this, what did this content era force us into? I created the title streaming executive because we have moved from the music business to the streaming business. If you wanted to win from 2019 to 2022, you had to be in the streaming business. You had to understand the streaming business. Here we are in 2023, moving into 2024, and content has forced us into a new business. We are now in the media business. If you want to sell your music, you have to become a media business. What do I mean by that? We put out one song a month, maybe one song a week. But if we want to support that song and we want people to ever discover that song, we have to put out multiple pieces of content a day. My company, NPR, we ended up putting out maybe a project a month, maybe a single or two a month. But we were putting out about 30 to 50 pieces of content a day across all of our artists. And we only have three artists, mind you. We were putting out 30 to 50 pieces of content a day because we had to in order for them to discover our three artists. We end up realizing we're no longer in the streaming business. We're in the media business. Media is created content. And we were distributing 30 to 50 pieces of content a day and only distributing one song a month. We were no longer music distribution. We were media distribution. So now I need everybody in this class to recognize you are in the media business. Yes, you're going to create your art and you're going to make music, but your new most potent form of art is probably going to be content. It's probably going to be media. That's how you're going to drive people back to your music through media. You are now in the media business. With every forced change in life comes a gift. Our gift in music is that we were forced into the media business and that gave us a brand new skill, content marketing. This is a skill that goes way beyond the music business. If you learn content marketing, you can market any product, any person, any brand, any business. And that is a new gift and a new skill that can fund your career as well as turn into a business for you. But we're going to get into that. So as an artist who's in the media business, you're learning a new skill, content marketing. But as you begin to market yourself as an artist, you're going to find that you're no longer marketing just music. You're actually marketing yourself as a brand. We're going to do a whole course on brand keys down the line. I'm sure of it. But if you took the 90 day blueprint class, you completely understand branding and brand keys. Well, what happens is because I have to put out so many pieces of content a day, I'm not just marketing my songs. I'm now marketing myself as a brand. But guess what? When you become a brand, new avenues and new revenue streams open up to you. So the truth is us entering the media business, turned out to be the biggest gift and the biggest blessing in disguise because now we're no longer just an artist. We are a brand. We are content marketing our brand. And not only can we content market our brand, we can take our brand and use it to market other people's products. So now we're getting product placements. And as we get really skilled, guess what? We're creating our own products. So we are now a business that's thriving. We are a brand that's thriving because we were forced into the media business. Over the next three weeks, we're going to learn that skill. Next week, we're going to get into how to shoot content. The following week, we're going to get into content marketing. And the week after that, we're going to get into content distribution. And at the end of the month, I'm going to give away the tools to create great content. I'm giving away new lights, new microphone, and new tripod to one of our members. And guess what? Because you are subscribed to the mentorship class, you're going to have three entries into the contest instead of one. But either way, one member is going to win this entire setup. As always, I'll see you guys next week.